ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. These two fools are running neck and neck. <laughs> Dick Cannon and NBA Youngboy. So, two nights ago, NBA young boy posted his 10th child. Okay. Let me read you this. NBA young boy has welcomed his 10th child and second with his fiance, Jaslyn Michelle. The Louisiana rapper revealed Wednesday on YouTube. On his YouTube channel, The Last Slime Lito, um, he shared a photo of himself feeding and swaddling an infant with the caption, We got left today for a little bit, but it's cool. Earlier this month, the video blogger Michelle revealed and revealed via YouTube that she and young boy were expecting a boy. She said, I can't believe I'm having a boy um, in her latest vlog. And NBA young boy is nesting for the arrival of their bundle of joy. I never thought I'd have a boy. So they have a daughter who, you know, is only a few months old. So he's about to welcome an 11th child soon. Let's not forget that NBA young boy is only 22 years old. He's literally a year older than my child, right? My child is 21. He has, he's about to have 11 kids. He has 10 at the age of 22. And I, again, I don't care how much money these people have. Y'all, y'all love to use that excuse. Well, they got money. So a lot of people have money. Money does not equate time. It does not equate, you know, dealing with your kids. So while he's with these two children, cause he's engaged to this fiance, at least he is, finally getting engaged. Um, what about the other nine? Are they getting the same equal amount of time? I doubt it. I don't, I just, it's just insane. He's 22 with 10 kids. But of course, not to be outdone, here comes old Nick Cannon. Now this is a grown man. He's in his forties. And he just had, he just announced today his 10th child and he still has another one on the way. So I'm pull up the Nick Cannon story. Give me just a second here. Good old Dickless. He couldn't let NBA Youngboy have the moment. So uh, let's see here. Dickless Cannon, his family has grown once again. Um, him and Brittany Bell have welcomed their third baby together. Cannon's 10th. He announced on Instagram Friday, celebrating his little fellow Libra. Cannon announced the birth of his son, Rise Messiah Cannon, who weighed 10 pounds at birth to the proud dad. He also has a five-year-old son, Golden Sagan or Saigon, and daughter, Powerful Queen, who's 20 months old. Anyways. And then he wrote this whole thing, another blessing as my journey on this planet becomes more and more remarkable and unfathomable. All I can do is thank God and continue to ask the Most High to order my steps. He has given me stewardship and dominion over a family dynamic. <laughs> I'm not reading no more of that bullshit. Shut up, Nick, and leave God out your mess. <laughs> they love to bring up God. <laughs> Y'all know I can't never read none of his posts. Yeah, all I see is a bunch of wah, 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 wah. <laughs> I feel like he's Charlie Brown's teacher at this point. Child Bob, move on with that shit. Um, the thing that's funny is that he wrote the same long mush mouth post when, look, when the dark skin model, I forget her name, when she had his baby, what, a week ago? And then me and Emily did a podcast, the Asian baby mama, Bria, or Bri, whatever her name is, she was crying on Instagram, cussing folks out, <laughs> writing all caps and shit, because she ain't slept in two days. <laughs> Then the other one said she had to rush back to work, honey. They said she had to get back to work right after her C-section. So it seems to me like these women are not living that trife life. And he seems to really care about this particular baby mama because she got a big old uh, baby shower and they had a feast for this one. Let me see if I can find it. It was like a video with music and everything. And my, I think it was on another one of them uh, sites. 
on another website. Let me refresh it. Yeah, he did. Like He threw like a big old thing for her. Now, I noticed the dark skin, baby mama, she didn't get maternity pictures. Or maybe I haven't seen them because I don't follow her. But I didn't see her maternity pictures. You know how usually he does maternity pictures? I didn't see any with the dark skin, baby mother. Um, let me show y'all this. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> okay. So they had some type of big old dinner. You know, okay. Um child. You you just can't you can't make this shit up at this point. And he still has another baby on the way. So like I said, I just find this very just at this point it's sad. There's nothing else to be said. Um these women are just as much clowns as he is. So I, I don't put all the blame on Nick. These women are are grown women. You know, none of them are having his kids by force. They're choosing to be a part of this circus. So, you know, let them my issue is the ones who are complaining online, like the Bria girl, you know, a Bri you know, complaining and saying she hasn't slept. And then when people tell her, you know, the, the fam was just telling her nice, like, hey, why don't you have Nick get you a night nurse? What does that have to do with Nick? Why are you bringing my baby daddy? Like, she was so upset. And I think the reason why she was mad, she was projecting. Because whatever she thought this was going to be in her head is not what's happening. She thought that, you know, somehow her baby was going to take Nick's full attention and Nick would be her with her all the time, possibly, because she's the, I think she, well, she's not more popular than Mariah, honey, but I think she's a bit more popular than some of the other baby mothers, because some of the other ones, I ain't never heard of them. To be honest, I never heard of Brie either, but, um, you know, she's pretty popular. So I think maybe he, she thought things would be different for her and she's finding out, no, it's not, it's not any different. So while she's online going off on people and cussing folks out and trying to make it feel like, you know, everything's all good and she don't need unsolicited advice. Like I said on the podcast, you're going to get unsolicited advice because y'all put this clown circus on the internet. So when you put this big clown circus on the internet, people are going to have things to say. So you can't get online and cry about not sleeping in three days and not having any help. And then when people say, well, hey, ask your rich baby's father to get you a night nurse, you go off and you start cussing folks out. So I don't think everything is cracked up to be in the canon. Um, what can we call this? In the canon haram. I don't think it's all cracked up like they're trying to make it seem. I think there are, um, you know, I just think it's just more for his ego. You know, he can say he's trying to leave a legacy, but a legacy of what? A bunch of baby's mothers that are going to be fighting over your estate once, you know, you know, once he's not here. Um, because, again, if every if this was supposed to be like this big, cohesive, um, you know, pearl situation, why are all these women constantly surprised that another kid is coming? Like you would think all of this would be discussed. I, I don't know. At the, <laughs> the Cannon Clan. Yeah, that's a good name, Yvette, the Cannon Clan. Yeah, the thing is, this is not polyamory. It's not a polygamy type thing. Because again, he can be out there doing whatever, but they can't. So it, it's not even that. This is just a guy who just wants to fucking get a bunch of women pregnant. It's, it's just that simple. That's what it is at the core of everything. There's nothing religious about this. This is just a bunch. This is a big circus, you know, and he's the ringleader. Eventually, the money is going to stop coming in because it's too many mouths to feed. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely not broke. I mean, I, I think he'll be fine as far as the financial. To me, it's not about the money. You know, I don't, Nick Cannon is good as far as like his money, his investments, you know, his shows and stuff like that. To me, it's just about being a parent, you know, being a real parent that is there. And there's no way possible that any human being can be in 10 different households at once. It's just not possible. And I don't care if, oh, well, all the kids come around Christmas. They all come to his house on Christmas. No one cares. That is a few days out the year. Unless he has these kids full time living with him, you're not parenting these children. There's no way to possibly parent these children in a in a healthy way. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens, you know, five, 10 years from now when these kids get on social media and start spilling the tea like um, Mason Desick. You know, Mason can't hold water, honey. Kim Kardashian's nephew. He, he will spill it out. want the latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely tea TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely tea TV 
Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.